Hello, Cancer. Here's a reading for you for 2019, for the whole year. As you can see, the cards are already on the table, so I know what's going on. I have to say, it's a very powerful reading and quite a nice one, I would say. You have lots of water and lots of fire and nearly nothing else. Uh, a little bit of major arcanas. But generally, generally it's like a, a, perhaps a fight or co, um, co-working between fire and water. Uh, Knight of Wands appears two times. Two of Cups appear two times. So changes. The Two of Cups is a central energy of the year. And it's always about relationships. All kinds of relationships, not only love relationships, but also business partnerships, your relationships with yourself, your relationships with your friends, um, perhaps even the relationship to the world, uh, because cups are also about spiritual development. You can see two people here seeing themselves as equal. So it's about recognizing the other in yourself and yourself in the other. And I feel there's great progress here during this year. Overall, I think you can achieve very, very much. And um, there's this um, wonderful feeling of uh, knowing more after the year uh, has, pa has passed. So... It can be love for some of you. It can be rekindling of some uh, fire in your life. Seeing things in a different manner uh, than, to, than, to, than you see today and than you see usually. As the ma major arcana, the main major arcana, you have the Empress. So together, it creates a, le a really lovable, um, a lovable energy. Because she's... Uh, the epitome of love and creativity and fertility and uh, also being abundant. She's having this beautiful flower, so she's a queen of beauty too. She's a queen of all queens in Taro. She's blessed. She has those stars um, around her head. I love these cards, really. Uh, for some of you, this means pregnancy. For some of you, this means um, some other kind of, of creativity and bringing something into material world. Because the Empress is very much connected with, the, um, with all things material. So overall, really a loving vibe here for you, Cancer. And I like it very much. And this is peaceful. The rest of your reading isn't... So, isn't as peaceful as this, because you have lots of fire, as I said. You also have some strong major arcanas. As the first one, you have death. So there's, as I said, major change, major transformation. I think it's not something that surprises you. It really, <clears throat> it really, uh, it can be going on right now already. You can be. Um, in the process, uh, even now in December 2018, because uh, this change is really, really profound and it takes months, if not years. And um, you become someone else as a result. Of course, the death card, the, the energy of death may be quite difficult and demanding because she's swiping everything clean. And, and in the midst of it, you... You may forget that this is here to prepare new ground for new things to emerge. But something tells me you are rather at the end of the process or you can see why it's going on and what the possible results will be because the preceding card is Knight of Wands. Look at him. It's a, a little bit of wolf, a little bit of bear. And a little, little bit of human. And this human is giving you the lightning. So I think perhaps during 
this profound uh, transformation or uh, or after it or when it's finishing you may feel uh, an immense strike of energy you can feel it within you and you may have a great urge to transpond it to pass it somewhere and it can be quite chaotic is what I feel here because of the lightning you never know where the lightning strikes so I think you have the need to express change but perhaps you still don't know how you can you can see this you know this, this clean area for something new to emerge but you you still don't know how 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 is it supposed to emerge where am i supposed to strike where am i supposed to move what am i supposed to do in what way am i supposed to change so there can be a little chaotic period in your life but then there comes great insight towards you the hermit card it's absolutely fabulous in in this deck uh, generally it's one of my favorite cards because it's about uh, searching for, for and finding the inner light so what you discover as a result of this profound change maybe uh, the feeling of unity that's what i feel when i see this card I can see a person that is one with the water. This uh, silhouette is emerging out of waters and it's <clears throat> independent in a way. But on the other, on the other hand, uh, it's very much connected. It's interconnected. The ocean and the persona, the ocean and the silhouette. They are one and the same. It's just an emergence of some kind. Moreover, you can see that out of the face there comes back the water to the ocean. So it's all floating, it's all connected and you can, you can see through duality, I think. I think that's the main thing you uh, experience uh, this year, that you see through duality of the world. Uh, that is very strong upon us and you may cut through to unity to oneness which is a blessing this is a very blissful energy and what you discover on this way during uh, this process changes your um, perception of relationships changes your perception of yourself comparing to others and changes changes your perception of the other comparing to you perhaps you have this insight that you're not that different or that they are not that different they are not that strange perhaps they are not stranger and if they are strangers you can recognize the stranger in yourself too which makes you closer which makes you more open and which makes you finally more abundant and more prone to love. Can I say this in this way? Uh, can you be vulnerable to love? I don't think so. <laughs> but you know what I mean. When you gain uh, this feeling of oneness with the world, there is really nothing that can scare you. And there is really no one that can scare you. You can see through the masks, through the stereotypes, through your own fears. And see the core that is oneness of all of us. So, as, as a fruit of this chaotic and profound change, you may rediscover relationships in your life. Of course, it can play out in many different ways, as I said. Some of you will probably leave the partner. Some of you will uh, regain the partner. Some of you will strengthen the bond with the partner, with friends. It, it doesn't necessarily uh, talk about your partner. It can be about your friends, your children, your parents. Whoever you love, whoever is precious to you. 
uh, you are able to make a new connection, perhaps a deeper one. All right. When I look at the <clears throat> at the other cards, the cards of purpose, I would say, this is the first one, and you have the magician. This is the inevitable, the lesson that you're going to learn this year. The magician is, of course, someone who creates life uh, of his own, in his own manner. Um, it's someone who manifests the way he wants to manifest. And this is the beginning of the way. I think you you might feel like a beginner in in a field that you thought you are experienced in. But now you come as someone new. You come as a new person that is bringing this universal, universal force, universal energy to the world in a very different way. You have all the tools, you have this energy, as I was talking, um, uh, this energy I was talking about. And you have the power to create things according to your virtues, according to what's important to you, according to your passions. And I think you don't have to choose. Sometimes uh, when a magician uh, appears, people say, oh, you have to choose one of these. Or you have to choose whether you're going to follow your passion. Roses, red roses uh, symbolize passion. Or your um, values. White lily lilies are for values. But why not both? And I have strong feeling that uh, the part of this change I was talking about is also the ability to merge those two things together and to create and to manifest in a very new way for you. So that's it. The challenge. The challenge is Queen of Cups, which is your card. By the way, Two of Cups is also your card. It's Venus in Cancer. So we have Venus here, we have Venus in Cancer here. That's why I'm talking about love and beauty, but also femininity, openness receptivity, receiving mode, perhaps. Um, when you are in a mode of Queen of Cups, you are perhaps in a danger that someone will over, over, no, abuse you. That's why it's very important to um, set your boundaries firmly. I won't say strongly. Uh, I won't say be on your guard because it's not what I'm talking about. You just need to know where do you end and where the other begins. Don't let it mix because it really doesn't add value. It rather takes it out. It rather creates uh, negative value when you mix two beautiful energies in a way that is abusive. So... Uh, that's the challenge. I think you can make it easily. I think you can, uh, you are able, absolutely able to do it. If you know yourself, the better you know yourself and your boundaries, the better you are able to know the other two. I asked what's the medicine for it. And the card out of the beautiful shamanic healing oracle is ancient wisdom. And let me... Oh, uh, let me read it, read it for you. Nature is a perfect place to center yourself and ground out any excessive noise in your head. In nature, all the secrets of the universe are held, from the fiercest energy of a raging sea in a storm to the nurturing and loving energy of a hundred-year-old grove of trees. And, you know, these... Uh, Contrasts are very visible in your reading because you have Queen of Cups and you have Knight of Wands. So we have cups and fire, f water and fire. These are opposite um, um, elements. But nature is full of opposites like this and it's thriving and it's beautiful because of this. Um, that's why this ancient natural wisdom is speaking to you right now. So, get out in nature and listen to what she has to tell you. There is much to learn from nature. 
Trees just want to be trees. They are not trying to be boulders. Deer are just deer. They accept that. Wolves are wolves. They know no other way. They do not try to get an extreme makeover to become a bear. This energy vibration can be so different than the human experience. It is pure love, non-judgment and acceptance. When you tap into the ancient wisdom of the natural world, you find peace within yourselves. You get to know thyself. By drawing this card, you are being asked to come to peace with who you are and what you have to offer um, the situation. So you can be like Mother Nature, nurturing and loving unconditionally. But unconditional love doesn't mean that you dissolve in someone else. You need to um, keep your uh, boundaries here within this energy. All right? Your strength. Another card of Cancer. You have the chariot, which is a wonderful sign because it means you're... You're in the mode of overcoming all the obstacles. Um, I would say there's nothing to fear. Of course, you can feel fear, but it doesn't mean, mean it's going to distract you. I don't think so. This is a triumphant, victorious card, and I'm happy to see it as your strength, because it means you're going to go straight to your goal and achieve it. All right? And then, finally, uh, the area of focus. And you have this Knight of Wands I was talking about. So focus on change and focus on expressing the need to change. You don't have to um, have a plan, is what I feel here. This Knight of Wands and, and the lightning is so speaking to me that you just need to express it in... It really doesn't matter how. It really doesn't matter. So be like the lightning. Strike whatever you want. Do whatever you feel passion towards. But just express this change that is uh, taking place within you. Focus on this. If you need to move, move. You don't need to know where. You don't need to know the goal. Just act like your gut is telling you, all right? Now, uh, when we look at the seasons, the first quarter of the year, which is January, February and March, and again we have wands, and this is nine of wands. And this is the card of great strength. The card where you have already achieved very much and now you're really working on a high level. This is high performance card for me. Of course, it can cause fatigue, being tired, but you're on your top. Top notch, top position, absolutely. So we can create things and ideas and, and situations of great value here. This energy also is temporary because, as I said, it's a peak. The nine is always about accumulation um, of, a, of an element. Then we need to resolve something in, in the ten, right? But this is the peak. So you can't be on the peak all the time. That's why I said it can be tiring for you. But your fire is burning here, very strongly. And I have a good feeling about this, because then we have the star during the next quarter. April, May and June. And this card is always telling me that you are on the right track. You are on your way. Some kind of light is guiding you and you follow it. It's a great car of healing and acceptance of who you are and your place in the world 
and your gift to the world. I think you recognize your gift and you're in this beautiful fluid mode of sharing it with the world. You don't see it here in this deck, but uh, the, the fluid from, uh, from one vase is usually falling. Sorry, that was my dog. So uh, the fluid from one vase is flowing uh, to the pool of, of waters. And that's the spiritual um, part of the picture. That's your spiritual input to the world. And the water from another uh, cup um, is flowing to the towards the earth. So we also nurture earth on a material level. And this is a very humble card. And again, you don't see it here, but usually she is kneeling. So it's acceptance of who you are and what you're doing, but also the acceptance of the great gift that you are to the world. So it's also the humbleness towards um, towards you, towards yourself, and loving yourself very much. And two um, containers of water reappear, like the two of cups. So I have this feeling of, of, of drive, here, which is very pleasant. Then, in the summer, third quarter, so it's July, August and September, we have King of Cups, the master of the element of water, the master of emotions, feelings and spirituality. And I'm very happy to see it here because for me it's, it's very much reinforcing the strength of the Empress especially like a male counterpart to her, uh, like a male counterpart to this Queen of Cups with her unconditional love. He's, he's a very expressive um, persona. So if you have the need to express yourself in a creative manner, this card is telling you that you're going to be uh, effective in this, that you can... Do it without fear, with great courage. This is Apollo, by the way, in this deck. So also a god of art of all kinds. Um, so you know, you know your worth. You know what's going on with your emotions. And you uh, not only accept them, but you embrace them. But you are the king, so you decide whether and how to express them. That's why you are the master of, uh, of, this, uh, of this element. It doesn't drive you, you drive it. Okay? And finally, the last quarter of the year, October, November and December, we have fire again. <laughs> Three of Wands this time. This is the card of acceptance for me. Acceptance? Ex I mean expecting. Ex <laughs> the card of expecting something. It's the card of law of... Um, oh, how do you call it? Law of attraction, of course. Look at him. He's very open towards whatever is coming this way. He's waiting for this. And he's open to it. Whatever it is, whatever is coming my way, I, I've been waiting for this for a long time and I expect wonderful things to, be, to, to come my way. If you send this kind of um, communication uh, towards the world, the world is going to answer. It's just, it's right, uh, right there in the bushes. <laughs> waiting to jump out and surprise you perhaps and i love this uh, this way we can stay open to what uh, to what, what life is uh, wanting to give us because usually whatever we can think about and whatever we can imagine it really falls short in comparison to what life can bring us it's always much more interesting, usually much more challenging, but also much more developing for us. 
and can bring tremendous joy to life. So I see it as a final confirmation that whatever change you're, you're going through, whatever transformation is, um, is changing you, at the end of the road, you're going to stay open and expecting beautiful things to enter your life. And I love it. Very dynamic reading for you, Cancer. Uh, also for me, because I am Cancer Moon, so I like it quite a lot. And I'm happy to see it. And one final card. When I was doing this reading in my native language, in Polish, I forgot about it. Uh, and I'm very happy that I, uh, <laughs> that I was reminded about it. And it's here. And it's called Mirror Guardian. Of course, this reading is uh, is um, is made for your greatest good. That's my intention always, and that's uh, these cards are confirmation of this for me. So the Mirror Guardian, take time to reflect, and that's exactly what you do in the Two of Cups. You reflect. You are reflected in the face of another. Okay, Mirror Guardian, let me read it for you. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular those aspects of yourself that you have, uh, sorry, that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer yourself approval where it's due, and know that when you give yourself credit. Others will be able to as well. <clears throat> I think that's the reflection you can have here. Reflection on yourself that is then reflected by, by others. And it changes your attitude towards others and towards relationships and how you function within these totally. So, yeah, you can grow this year. And, again, I almost forgot, I also pulled three cards for your love life, emotional life. And again, we have fire uh, here, and we have the awakening, which is the judgment card. That's tremendous energy. The more I think about the judgment card, which is called the awakening here, the more I love this energy. <clears throat> I won't say it's easy, because it's not. Usually you see people um, standing up from their graves because the angel is calling them. And this card tells about death, but you already encounter, encountered death, so nothing new here. But now you have this beautiful ch chance to have a new life. The awakening is always about finally seeing yourself in a totally different set of circumstances and seeing that new life absolutely new set is possible it's like a new stage on a scene of life and you can be better and you can feel better about this what these two additional cards tell me is that first the worst is already behind you you have worked a lot four of stars advancement you have made a beautiful advancement now perhaps it's time to rest a little bit and to enjoy it and really to bask in this beautiful potential of the awakening that you already see. This cut can be very moving and I'm really touched by it sometimes when I think about the moment you realize how much you have changed, what you've been through and, and how your life can be better now because of all that happened. Perhaps you, perhaps you weren't able to see it before, 
perhaps it was full of pain and suffering and, and challenges and demanding things. But one day you, yeah, you awake, you wake up and you see the world in a totally different way. And that's absolutely wonderful and stunning. So that's the emergence card. And then we have seven of stars, which is faith. It's standing your ground. It's really knowing what you want and uh, being stubborn about it, <laughs> you know, not letting others tell you what to do. You say, I know what to do. I, ha I have the upper hand. That's my life. And these are my values and I'm going to defend them. I'm not going to let you change me the way you want it, because I know how I have changed and I know why. And I see the purpose. I see the purpose. So, again, not a very romantic um, outcome here. Not a very romantic energy. It's not about, you know, uh, all flowers and, and birds and uh, things like that. But it's so powerful. It's so profound. And it's changing you to the core. And I love it very much. <laughs> I, I, I wish you love it too. And overall, I wish you a beautiful year. Please check your other signs, not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign, your rising sign. Generally, the best thing to do is to check your natal chart. The link is down below. You can see it. And check where your personal planets reside in your horoscope. And then decide what you want to, what do you want to watch except of your sun sign and your ascendant sign perhaps you have strong strong moments uh, on your chart where, where one or more uh, of your personal planets reside and always check that because uh, these energies create a different mix for uh, for each and every person take whatever you want from here take take what resonates leave the rest and remember the future isn't set in stone it's rather in our hands. You created, you co-created. We are co-creators of our reality. So grasp it and have fun. I wish you a wonderful uh, year 2019. And I hope I see you in next readings. Until then.